evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm here with Kate and ready to bring you up to date on today's election campaign happenings. Thank you John. Let's get to the news. Topping tonight's news, there is a surprising development in the Delaware Senate seat race. During a press conference, while answering a question about whether mice with human brains should have the right to vote, Christine O'Donnell suddenly began to levitate. Suspended six inches off the ground, O'Donnell giggled and said, I suppose this is going to start that whole witch silliness again. She went on to insist that spontaneously floating in air has nothing to do with the real issues and that she is just like every other common-sense conservative only slightly more buoyant, which she attributes to a mix of genetics, high fiber and an old-fashioned daily dose of the Holy Ghost. After all, she said, we all know that ghosts float. On a strange related note, an unnamed source says that Charlie Gibson, who was tough on O'Donnell at the press conference, went into the men's room after the conference and never came out. The source says that when he went in to check on Charlie, the only thing he found was a large frog in one of the urinals. O'Donnell's camp said there is no connection between her and this odd turn of events, but then added, but maybe it's a good idea to remember to ask only the questions that O'Donnell pre-submits and to stop royally ticking her off. Election 2010 is certainly shaping up as one for the books. Moving on to the race for New York's next governor, it seems that Carl Palladino is fired up again. Perhaps thinking he has nothing left to lose, he showed up to a Buffalo Bisons baseball game wearing a rainbow flag as a diaper, a t-shirt that said, honk of you love horses, and carrying a baseball bat with the words, I got your gay friggin' pride right here. Palatino told a reporter that he was simply expressing his views as a totally non-gay Catholic, a heterosexual animal advocate, and as a completely straight Buffalo sports fan. When asked if wearing a rainbow flag as a diaper might be viewed as insulting to gays, he said, gays don't own the rainbow colors and if they have a problem with me wearing this, then they can send one of their big burly guys over here to toss me down hard and wrestle me the hell out of it. That Carl, he sure is a pistol. And speaking of guns, up in Alaska, the bizarre campaign of Joe Miller continues to unfold. Miller, who has recently announced that he will no longer take questions from, not only reporters, but from anyone, at all, ever, about anything, for all eternity is accused of pulling a gun at the drive through of an Anchorage McDonald's. According to the drive through attendant, Miller became enraged when she asked him if he would like to supersize his order. Pamela Tarkin said that at first he just stared at her really hard, and that it looked like his face was vibrating. She said then one of his eyes began to roll back in his head in a scary way. He then shouted, I told you no more questions. He reached into the back seat grabbed a gun and a rack of moose antlers, waved both about wildly and then drove off yelling, I am somebody. Don't look at me. Alaska is mine. Okay then. When we come back, we have something really disturbing. Hidden camera footage of Sarah Palin with Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher sock puppets. She is caught on tape having a heated discussion with them, while practicing on settling dance moves in front of a mirror while watching Dancing with the Stars reruns. Let me just say, it is not to be missed. Also coming up, Sharon Angle calls for a boycott of everything containing the fabric, muslin, for reasons, Angle says, that should be obvious to everyone that doesn't worship Satan. And Michelle Bachman announces she will be introducing a bill that will require all real Christians to wear special contact lenses that sport an image of Jesus, so that good, patriotic, non-communist Americans can be easily recognized. We were back after these messages.